Welcome to the new vlog. We're about 15 minutes out from a baseball game, but I am actually <laughs> very unlike me prepping for tomorrow. I used to be very good at prepping, but those days have come and gone. But I told Phoebe we could do apple prints tomorrow and that's already a chaotic thing to begin with. So right now I am like prepping paper for us to paint. I have this here, Melissa and Doug like paint roll and I'm just gonna use some painter's tape here, tape it to my counter and hope that it's not the biggest disaster in the world tomorrow. Um, we're cooking a stromboli in the oven for dinner and hoping to see some good baseball. Okay, here's what I put together really quick. I hope she likes it. I've done little to no updating this week because honestly the big part of the week is going to be starting tomorrow when we do Phoebe's room. Just been the normal chaos. Luigi did have his dental surgery today. Scott's going to pick him up in about an hour. We've been watching a lot of baseball this week and our big acquisition from Facebook has been this. It's been a big hit. I am hoping it will help with her energy levels. And that's all to report right now. Why is my license in the middle of the playroom? Today's the day. Phoebe just left with Scott. It feels pretty crazy because obviously on this channel, I went through the whole process of putting her nursery together in 2020 and here we are. I'm gonna just tear it all out and start over. Let me see if I can get a Luigi footage for you guys first because our boy's home and he's Seems to be doing well. I got him to eat his food this morning. Oh, there he is. There he is. I need. Got him to eat his food. And so he took his medicine because I had his medicine and his food. So he seems okay for now. He seems a little out of it. But I know he's doing okay because last night when I was holding him and petting him and everything, he was doing lots of purring. So like I said, Scott just left with Phoebe. So my first like three tasks for the day were to get everything off the wall and get the wall holes spackled. Try to get as much out of the room as possible, minus like the really big furniture pieces and start taping so that I can get painting. Hopefully ASAP. Also at some point, this vlog will switch from my camera to Scott's GoPro, hopefully. So hopefully we can get some cool time-lapse footage. Right now, I've got most stuff off the walls. I need to grab some, like a, like a, um, something to get a bunch of screws out of the wall and some nails, and then I'm gonna start speckling. Quick little update while I give my arms a rest. This is what the color is going to be. That's what the color was. My arms and hands are getting crampy, so I'm taking a little break. Scott is dropping off the crib at its new home. Yeah, right now all that's in here besides a couple things I left in the very top of the closet are just her dresser and the bookshelf. Everything else is out, um, very echoey. Hello. And I think I'm gonna take a little break, drink some water, get back to work. Okay, I am covered in paint from literal head to toes, but the painting is done. And now the next step is, here. yeah, it really is. I've been in here for hours painting, I'm familiar. Yeah, you heated it up. Anyway, here's the bed. He's gonna start building. You're it. a better microwave. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower. Battery is pretty low, but we did get this all built. This is the Helix Kids Mattress. We do have a size full, and I've been kind of putting the closet back together before we put the doors on. Some bins down here with toys for her, her clothes, stuff for me that are not for her little hands. These have to get mounted to the wall tomorrow. Probably gonna make this 
bed so that I can get something else out of my bedroom. But things are going, like we're doing really well as far as like schedule and timing and everything. We're in the car, but look how pretty it looks. This is a good road for this kind of footage. You used to put it on I, I could. Oh no, I'm out of battery. No! We are back with a fresh battery. So today, all the tape has been pulled off. I strung these lights on the bed, which I'll show you them lit up later. Scott hung the blinds and the curtains and the mirror. Next, after the floor is washed and such, these two pieces of furniture are gonna be mounted to this wall. And then we'll get stuff done from there. Here it is, the final reveal. So we walk in and right here we see Rapunzel. So we mounted this bookshelf to the wall. We got these mounts on Amazon. I can link them down below. Um, all this furniture is from when I was pregnant, so none of this is new. Another little wall decal. This mirror we actually painted when I was pregnant and put a wire on it. It was from an old dresser. What else we got? We got the bed. How would you rate buildability? Buildability of the bed? It really wasn't bad, the hardest part. Was that With somebody over torqued the screw. So you had to like put this yeah. A section together this. and put it on top. And change the colors. <clears throat> I'm thinking this would be nice for like reading at bedtime. Red color is good for light. So I'm thinking like it's when good it's, for light. It is good for light. When, when it's dark. It, it's not like red light is good for night. Anyway. So, she can really, play with this. I haven't really sat here yet. Oh my god, lie down, it's so comfy. There's the big well, bump. I've laid on it, but I haven't like sat It's here. comfy, it's a nice bed. We've never, we're not sponsored, we're not like YouTubers sponsored by Helix, but uh, what do you think? I think it's nice. This is what we went to TJ Maxx for today. First we went to Home Goods. then we went to Home Sense. Then TJ Maxx had something small. Get my scent have on here. The, <laughs> the remote, with the shoes, are you kidding me? I'm not putting them on. They're a That's little too good. on. Take them off. Take them off. Anyway, we wanted something to put the remote for the lights and her hatch on. Um, oh. Anyway, there's definitely walk decals all over the place. This we had made on Etsy when she was, when I was pregnant, um, and it was wooden. So I actually just painted it today so it would pop more in the room. I took family poles and they agreed to paint it. This is the little corner here. This is her um, pottery barn chair some books, a Squishmallow. These shelves used to have animals on it for the jungle nursery, and now I put some of her princesses on to go with the theme. Back here is her shatterproof mirror, so I put some decals there. For the closet, show what I've got set up in here. So she does like having some clothes down here for like, she likes to sort through them. So this is all her Halloween stuff. I always keep the seasonal stuff right here. Then behind it are all her princess dresses. We have little stuffed animals, baby doll stuff, busy activities. She really likes playing with her blankets from when she was a baby, so those are there. Then we have clothes, like pull-ups, some extra wipes. Then these are all her off-season clothes, extra bedding, some memory stuff, and makeup that I decluttered that she can have someday. <laughs> Not yet. And I think that's the tour. The only thing I don't love about this room is, I'll be candid, this used to match her crib. So like, I don't know. I think it's because all our floors are this color and I don't buy things that are this color. So everything always clashes the wood floors in our house a little bit. It's very warm. I don't usually buy warm toned things, but I also don't like this fan, but that is not, I just, first of all, it's like hard to change the the speeds and stuff. Yeah, I put a new string on it. And like, it's the thing cool. I don't understand is like, my office is the room right next to it. And in my office, one switch is the light and one switch is the fan. In this room, this does nothing, which is frustrating. And I don't even think it does I just, my, my thing is that this is doesn't, different. this doesn't light up the room well. That's what I meant by I don't really like Except it. there's an outlet behind there. It doesn't control that outlet, does it? Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know what that switch does. Exactly. So, in conclusion, the room is done. I will say the walls are very bare. I didn't, I intentionally didn't put stuff on the walls because I felt like that was something like as she like started to have things she liked and stuff, like she could pick things to like go in her room if she wanted to like hang pictures or art like stuff like that. I wanted to leave something in the room to her. 
Oh, I also have a bump thing under here. That's why it looks like he's sitting on a bump. So hopefully she doesn't fall out of the bed. I just... And that is all for now. Here I am on my couch, about to watch baseball in an hour. Scott just ran out to grab us dinner and we have been trying to get some cleaning done since we're having a Halloween gathering on Saturday. But I did get a PR package from Hair Proud and they sent two of their hair products. I have their glass hair heat activated spray and their all-inclusive five-in-one protectant. So I'm excited for both of these. I love a good leave-in spray product. I don't heat style my hair too often because I have nowhere to go. But uh, I'm excited to try one out. I'm pretty sure the bedroom is donezo. My body feels like we did it in a day and a half. Let's put it that way. I think I did all the painting in like a few hours. I was going super speed, so I'm very sore today. I'm very excited to see her reaction though. She keeps telling my mom that she's going to be getting a sleeping beauty bedroom. No matter how many times I told her it was a princess. So there's definitely a sleeping beauty within the situation. So we'll see how that turns out. It's Sunday evening now. Um, Phoebe's home. So she went to the zoo today and did trick or treating at the zoo with my parents. And then we picked her up and brought her home. She is obsessed with her room. She likes it so much. But she just had such a busy weekend that she passed out on me on the couch. So we just had to like transfer her into her bed. So we haven't like really done a real bedtime routine with the bed, but she is sleeping in it right now and it looks very cozy. I'll keep you updated next week. I have a lot of stuff to do this coming week prepping for our Halloween party on Saturday afternoon. So thanks for stopping by this vlog and I'll see you in the next vlog.